You can divide the Earth into many things, but one of the most interesting ways is by regions. Usually a region is based on an old country or homeland, but the name of the area typically remains even after the country or homeland is gone. One example is Mesopotamia. Since literally the dawn of civilization, Mesopotamia has referred to the area around the Tigris and Euphrates rivers. Even though it's now owned by Iraq, this area still can be, and still is, referred to as Mesopotamia. But some regions haven't stayed in the same place over time. In fact, you'd be surprised at how many regions have just moved. Now, I don't just mean maybe they grew or shrunk a little bit, or that they shifted slightly to the left or right but mostly remained in the same place. I mean just end up in a completely different place altogether. One cause is simply migration. In India, one such area is Malwa, which refers to this area here. As a region, it's named after the Malava people, and is simply a region named for their homeland as well. However, past sources have used Malwa as a region to refer to areas in Punjab and Gujarat based on how the tribe moved around in history. Another reason a place can move is prestige. Saxony, as you can imagine, means the homeland of the Saxons, and was originally this area in northwest Germany. While many famously migrated to England to form the Anglo-Saxons, many did stay behind and hence the region was called Saxony. Even after the Saxons were rather brutally taken over by the Franks, the region's name remained. But the Holy Roman Empire changed that. Originally, there was a duchy of Saxony, and thanks to feudalism, the areas owned by Saxony expanded to areas outside of their homeland. But in 1296, the duchy split in half between saxe lauenburg and saxe wittenberg saxe lauenburg over time shrank to just this tiny area and was often simply called Lauenburg. Meanwhile, saxe wittenberg thanks to feudalism over time, eventually shifted from this to this. And they got upgraded to an electorate, and were called the Electorate of Saxony. Because of this, by the 1700s, Saxony as a region was used for this area. What used to be Saxony was often just referred to now as Lower Saxony. It has the Saxony name in it technically, but it isn't just Saxony anymore. Even today, Saxony and Lower Saxony are used for those areas, so technically, Saxony has moved and stayed that way. Sometimes a region moved because of colonial misunderstandings. The continent of Africa for the longest time was unexplored by Europeans. You can find old maps, for example, of Ethiopia being used to label all of the interior, largely because they either didn't know where Ethiopia was precisely at, or at least they didn't know how large Ethiopia was. During the scramble for Africa, there was occasionally a case where they named a colony after a region that the area wasn't even in. Take the spot in Africa right here. When the French colonized it, they named it Mauritania, because of the Berber people in the area. Mauritania is named after Mauritania, which was an ancient Berber kingdom and region in Algeria and Morocco, during the times of the ancient Roman Republic, and later provinces for the Roman Empire were also called Mauritania. Mauritania is pretty far away from there, but because the population was mostly Berber, just like the famous kingdom, they went with it. And now Mauritania applies here instead of Algeria. Similarly, when decolonization happened, you occasionally had nations call themselves the name of a former African kingdom or region that they never really occupied where they were, like Benin and Ghana. The most intriguing example of a place moving is probably in the Pacific Ocean. Polynesian cultures had similar but distinct myths, and one of them involved where their ancestral homeland was supposed to be, the place they started exploring from, and each one had a different location. For the Maori of New Zealand, the homeland was called Hawaii, and Hawaii was used as a name for what is now called Raiatea. Now, Hawaii sounds very similar to Hawaii, and while there are multiple theories on the origin of the name Hawaii, one of those theories is that it's named after that homeland and that the V to W was just a change due to language differences over time. If that's true, then that would be a very interesting example of a place changing and moving thousands of miles across the ocean. For a final example, sometimes when a place moves, it's actually just a coincidence. When you think of Iberia, you think of the peninsula in Western Europe with Spain and Portugal. When you think of Albania, you think of the country in the Balkans. Well, in ancient times, those names were used for areas in the Caucasian mountains. There's no connection between the modern Iberia and Albania to the ancient ones at all, it's just a coincidence. But kind of an example of a place moving. So overall, in a similar way to how stories can change over time, sometimes that applies to places too, especially in an era where history wasn't as well recorded as now. Plus, people could easily forget about the significance of a place's name or where it came from, as all they knew was what it was called during the time they lived, and that's probably all they cared about. 
For historians, it could be a neat way to trace cultures based around that. And overall, it's just kind of a neat subject to look up. I'm Emperor Tiger Star, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for being patient while I was away on vacation. I know just a preview video isn't the same as two normal videos, but things should be back on schedule now. Expect more fun history or map videos every Friday.